Greetings, welcome to the part 3 of this section. In the part 1, we have seen that how we can load data from the folder, how we can plot the data, how we can augment the data. In the part 2, we have seen that how we can feed the data to the model, how we can get a loss function, how we can get prediction and how we can use evaluation metric that is accuracy in this case. In the part 3, we are using PyTorch Lightning module, which is actually a class we are inheriting from PyTorch Lightning module class to create our own class which we name as our class so we will define a constructor that is in it constructor and a super method so let me do this this is our init and this is our super construct super method which is represent the parent class so the next thing i have to define is some parameters which is actually model architecture here i will define model architecture pardon me if i miss misspelled it and then i will define some parameters such as then what is the learning rate what is batch size how many number of workers then i will define evaluation metric which is actually accuracy and i will define loss which is i can define it anywhere loss function in this case it is bce with logits then i will define a list which is store the loss curve and the accuracy curve this is actually non necessary but i am just showing you how to do that list to store loss curve and accuracy curve then i will do how to load data i will also loading the data here in our our class and how to split data i am i have already shown you that but in here i am just showing you in an organized way then i will define a function forward which is actually the forward pass of our model then i will define how to configure an optimizer def configure optimizer the name of this method are fixed you can't change that or misspell them if you misspell or change them this will give an error next i have to define train data loader this is also a thing that you can't rename it or you can't name it something else you have to use the our train data loader which is actually the data loader for the train we have used this before but here we are just using it in an organized way similarly we are using training step after the training step we will define training epoch and which is actually what the model has to do when the one when the one epoch has been completed the same procedure repeated for the validation and for the test set one thing should be kept in mind that the name of the function or method and the parameter argument should not be changed that if there is training step it should be training step and the batch should be the batch and batch idx should be the batch idx this is the a template which which we will use again and again in our work so let me start filling this template so the first thing we have to define is to define our model architecture we have already used our model architecture we will just copy it and paste it here which is actually resnet 18 model so we are now just doing some copy paste work because we have defined this thing already and we are now just using them this is our model which has been defined so the next thing i have to define is the parameters the parameters are actually the learning rate the batch size the number of workers so let me define self dot lr equal to 1 raised to power minus 3 e raised to power minus 3 and then i have to define batch size self dot 
batch size equal to here i am defining a large batch size because i want to speed up my training you have to define as much as large batch size you can define until your gpu memory get out of space so if if on defining 300 that i got an error memory error then i have to define 224 if i have to define 224 i got an error then i have to define something else you got an idea when you work a lot with the model that you know that if rather than 18 you, how much gpu it can gpu memory it will take for rather than 50 how much gpu memory it will take and similarly for as net other models the next thing is self stored num workers which is actually how many cpu cores i have want to specify to load data and to process it num worker equal to let's two in this case then the loss function criterion self dot criterion criterion equal to nn dot bce with Budgets loss and then I have to define evaluation metric which is self dot a double C accuracy metrics from torch metrics dot accuracy and then I have to define list to store loss curve and accuracy curve which is actually self dot train accuracy self dot well accuracy equal to two list one list for self accuracy uh, train accuracy and one list for validation accuracy similarly for train loss self dot well loss and the same thing two list one for train and one for validation then i have to define augmentation here we can also define it out of the this class and we can define inside this class it's totally up to you for this today i am defining it here maybe in next section i will define out of this lightning module class so self dot org equal to transform dot compose let me copy it from the part one of this section and use it in our lightning module class but I will do some modifications here, such as I am going to define transform dot horizontal random horizontal split and transform dot random vertical split. Random vertical split, vertical flip, not split, flip actually. We are flipping the data vertically and horizontally. This help us our model to generalize well and this reduce the overfitting of our model. The next thing is to is to use data loader and image folder to load the data. So here I will use the same thing as I have written above, but from instead of org I will pass self dot org. Now I have to split the data for that purpose. I will also do the copy paste because I have already defined it in the above section that how we can split the data into train and validation. So I am just copying it and pasting it here. But I will define some self with it because we are in our class, not outside of the class. As this is not a very beginner course, so I am not defining that what is meant by self, what is a class. You can learn it in some Python course or in some object oriented course. So let me see that if there is an error, look like there is no error currently, but we will see that whether there is or there is not. So in the next part, we will see that how we can define the rest of the function such as forward function, optimizer, loader and training epoch and validation epoch and 